Hi guys, welcome back to Retrospect. Today's video I'm painting a dog and it's my two-year-old Italian Greyhound puppy, Pico. So I've started off with a pink underpainting. I'm using my new favorite color, Opera Pink again, mixed with a little bit of acrylic white. And I've already traced out some of the basic areas where her eyes and ears and nose are. And now I'm just roughing in some of the basic colors. To be honest, I struggled with this painting and I did leave it for a couple days, maybe even a week or so, and just let it sit and tried to work up the nerve and desire to paint on it, but it took me a while to come back to it. So right now I'm just adding in more of the flat colors, trying to keep the brush a bit more loose and textural. I was trying to get more of a gestural impressionistic look with this piece as opposed to a hyperrealist piece, which would be very difficult for me to attain anyways. I'm not very good at realism, hyperrealism anyways. So I'm trying to get in areas that have pink undertones and trying to really convey the shape of her snout, which you'll see throughout this video that the area around her nose, between her nose and her eyes, gives me a lot of trouble. Because she's an Italian Greyhound, she has a very narrow snout and it's quite long. But for some reason I chose this picture of her here and it's kind of foreshortened. So I really had to try to work to make her snout look more delicate than it appears so far. I'm not going to tell you my entire thought process for this piece just because it was a bit of a struggle at times. but. I will just say that right now I had a phase where I was mixing my gouache with Liquitex gel medium to try to give it a weird transparent washed sort of layering look and well I did that for a bit but then I pretty much painted over it and wasn't too happy with the result of that anyways so that was one little experiment I tried. I was still trying to keep everything fairly loose and textural looking, so that's why it looks kind of messy a lot of the time. I also went in with a bit of my Windsor Newton Designer gouache just to give a bit more shading and tones, especially in the eyes, trying to make them a bit more golden brown, which is true to her actual eye color. And I did experiment with adding some purple and some blue undertones at certain points in the painting, but I think by the end of it they were covered up. So you'll see me here again trying to add a bit more darkness to the snout area and then again I end up blending it in and making it lighter. So it's been really just a back and forth game with me on this and I've been really struggling to get the tones really accurate. I actually didn't film 
myself finishing this painting because I kind of did it in very small installments. I went in with some colored pencil crayons actually and some graphite and tried to really define some of the areas with a bit more of a drawerly, that's not really a word, but with a more of a gestural hand drawn feel. So I gave some sort of shaggy fur lines. Even though her fur is pretty short, I wanted to communicate a bit of that texture. And I colored in with some brown pencil crayon where her ears have the brown coloring. I also worked a lot on the nose, which I didn't film as much because I was getting frustrated with this piece at that point, so there's not a lot of footage at the end. Here are some pictures of how it ended up, and I'm pretty happy with it. I was hoping to have it look a bit more mixed media, and I think I got there with that. I ended up changing some of the pink background to a lighter blue color, and I think that helps keep it a bit more bright and fresh. I think the pink was getting a bit stale by the end of it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this one, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!